They've been waiting for us. You didn't even change. <laughs> you can't last me. Ready? Let's count it down. One, two, three. All right. Very smooth. Good technique. Good technique. We're having a competition to see who can build the target the fastest. The previous competitor had a stand technique. Think you can beat him? I don't know. How's your target building skills? It's like the back the guy that built the target there. Alright guys, day number two at the ATA show and we have made it to destination Hoy Archery Booth. Hoy Booth is comfortable. These chairs in particular very comfortable. Pretty cool. This show has been a lot of fun so far. It's very, uh, we've said it probably before, but pretty mellow. It's got a good vibe. It's nice to meet a ton of people that are passionate about archery. A lot of whitetail hunters, as you would guess, being in Indiana Indianapolis, and then uh, just the industry as a whole. I'm a lot of whitetail hunters, doesn't it? Way more than you might think. That's what we were always surprised to see. Everything's whitetail. We're a little out of, out of our element out here. I mean, every booth is whitetail, rattling antlers, feeding stuff, yeah, all kinds of stands. Yeah, a lot of feed, feeders. But uh, again, just a lot of fun. We're at the Hoyt booth because we're supposed to do a signing here at 11. Um, so we're up next, apparently, to do a signing. It's not really a consumer-based show, so I don't anticipate many folks coming. We've met a ton of people, which is surprising. A lot of folks from like Georgia, Michigan, all over the East that are uh, follow the channel, which is really actually surprising, being that we don't get out to the East that often. But yeah, I don't, I don't think it's going to be a big, big line. Not like the Western Honey <laughs> Expo. That's for sure. It'll be a good warm up. It'll be a good warm up. My feet are definitely getting warmed up. Get calluses. Oh, well, we found our way back to the Yeti booth because they are one of the only booths with. Comfortable chairs. So comfortable. <laughs> we came over here to sit down and look at all these people behind me. Yeah. So many famous people. Cam Haynes, Adam and Kimmy Greentree. We've got Jim Shockey. There's so many meetings going on, guys. These shows. A lot of talk, 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 talk. When he said that you don't hate your job, you don't love it. Yeah. And I like have my wife and I was like, listen to this. <laughs> These guys, they're talking to me. Yeah. So yeah, I just decided uh, January 1st to be there. So like, it's, it's uh, you know, kind of putting me, you know, aligning me more with like, you know, because I'm a photographer, I'm a graphic designer, but I'm like, so like being able to know those two yeah, things man, together. Like, that's the great thing about doing that is you're passionate about photography, you're passionate about hunting. It's awesome. It just didn't, you know, it's, it feels like it's really new that you're able to, to combine. So like you got people like you guys and like the Heartland guys and just people that are doing the ball, putting more of a creative twist on the stuff that we do every fall. Yeah. Well, I know it was loud and you guys probably couldn't catch all that conversation, but that guy, his name was Justin, and he heard our podcast with Gritty Bowman about entrepreneurship, and he was just complimenting us because he just gave his like two-week notice at his work, and he's going to go and become a freelance photographer because that's what he loves. Um, but Justin, if you're watching this, thanks for stopping by. That was a huge compliment. We appreciate it. Now, we're at the bench meeting. Fun watching you guys. Yeah, yeah. as I say. Yeah. Right. 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 Look at this interesting video. What? Is that real? Is that video real? These guys are real. Yeah, that's a real wolf actor, he said. Dude, they did a good job editing it. <laughs> Got the Benchmade. Checking out uh, Benchmade Knives. The new catalog. And the new goods. There, that one. So it's the spin, one. It's kind of like hot knife. What day does it come out? The 23rd? 23rd. First day of shot. We'll be in First day of shot, huh? Guys, this right here is like our favorite spot in the entire show. It's the map. Where's the map? Where's the map? Here's the map. Rambo bikes. Where you are here, but this is the direction 
3716 These no. numbers are hard to find. Yeah, so it's that way. Mm -hmm. So it's a lot. Going over to the Rambo Bikes booth now to check out the new bikes. We made it to Rambo Bikes. Looks like one of these big conglomerate companies that own a bunch of companies, and Rambo Bikes being one of them. I think this is the one we have. These are the bikes that uh, we used in Idaho. These guys used them out in Oregon on the Roosevelt Elk Hunt. Cover, cover a lot of miles on these bad boys. Get on, Eric. You need, hey, did you guys, we need that. Yeah. You need a trailer. Then I can just sit on it. You can just and I can, I can take you? I was wondering if they were going to come out with a tandem bike. A tandem? Tandem. Double? Yeah. All the meetings have been yeah. super stressful. Super stressful. It's all about the meetings. Dude, how many meetings do you guys got left in the day? Uh, uh, too many to count. We've run into a few people that have been looking for you guys. I'm like, they're just in meetings. We're just yeah. doing good meetings. <laughs> just We're do this, even though. Here? And look yeah. at this deep V right here. Let's zoom in here. Oh, yeah. Deep. Zoom in on the deep it's a thing, thing, dude. Pull it down one button. Let's make it a party. Where'd make the party. hair go? Wow, that's there's a couple hairs there. It's <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm really sorry. We need to fix your logo. You guys didn't get kicked out of the house last night. No, Thanks, man. we had a good time. This is the new 750, kind of the upgrade model that we, uh, from what we used last year, but they are the e bikes. The, this one is legit. This one's got the front suspension. Yeah. They fixed the derailleur too. So they put the derailleur more streamlined, which is great. Yep, that's what I broke. The little derailleur that was down here. So that's problem solved. Batteries are slimmer on this yeah, one, huh? And then I think this is a touch screen here too now. That's there nice. Wow. These bikes were a game changer though. We loved hunting off them. A lot of fun. Front rack. For your lunchbox? Yeah. Lunchbox. Yeah. These trailers would be fun, huh? Yeah. To trailer in like a camp or something. You guys used them? Yeah, 100%. It was a game changer. I put, I think, 54 miles on your guys' bikes. Thank you. <laughs> think, yeah, thanks for breaking it in. Yeah, we, yeah, we did. We well, the first, the, day, the first day by noon, it was 12 miles. Yeah, the bike. Big old cheesy grins. Easy, on huh? Oh my gosh. Yeah. That was all logging roads. Yeah, they were money, man. I, I would definitely not hesitate to uh, hunt off these in the future. This is awesome. Brian, is this illegal? Uh, pretty sure. That's illegal. Jaywalking. Don't be filming this. It's illegal. We're headed to lunch. We finally slipped out of the show after all, all the meetings. All the meetings went good. And now we're going to go try to find some grub. But we lost. Trevor, we're man down. We're literally man down, and I don't know if he's gonna be able to navigate his way out of there. Hey guys, we made it to the crispy booth, checking out all the goods. Got the born and raised crew hanging out too. This one here? Yep. Yeah. Great. right? You're like. That's a Thor. I was like. So we're testing out some different ones. Gives you an opportunity to feel how stiff the sole is. It's pretty cool, but we've got a lot of new lineups, uh, boot options coming out this particular year. Give you guys a quick little peek. So I ran the Dakota for the last couple years. That's been a good boot for me. That's that is it. so light. Isn't it? And rigid. Way rigid. That's this. this. Torsional rigidity. Whoa. Torsional Whoa. rigidity. You can sell boots for living here. Well, that's how stiff it is. Wow. Bent, flex it. What kind of shank? Just using using all the catchphrase. Buzzwords. Yeah. You shank. used to work in boots, huh? Torsional boots. rigidity. <laughs> I worked in the shoe department for a little bit. <laughs> Number one like salesman for five years straight. Whoa. No big deal. No, that's cool though. That is super cool. I, I'm surprised how light the boot is. Is that the same boot as this? Yeah. This is a boot Casey wore last year, right? Casey Arverson? I think so, yeah. That and man, it's my go to. It's this boot right here. Crispy Nevadas, dude. Is that a, oh, that's a different color, huh? It's black. Yeah, that black and then brown. This is a boot I wear all the time in early season. So that's the Nevada go-to boot. As you guys saw last year on the Born and Raised, I got a pair of them the day the hunt started. Hunted them 17 days straight. No break in time for me. Wild Rock. This is a 400 gram boot that I wore at late season in Colorado. I felt like it was very comparable to the Nevada. A little higher, obviously, but warmer. It was cold in uh, Colorado. I think I wore the Guide. Is this the one you got? Yeah. 
And Eric got that too, right? Eric had the same one that Casey had, but oh. these ones had insulation in them, like anywhere from 200 to 400. And then the ones for early season do yeah. not, which I prefer personally. No insulation, feet no. get hot, they sweat a lot. I have sweaty feet as is, but the nice thing about the the, uh, the Legends is, or the Nevadas is, you can get them uninsulated and then you can get them 200 grams of insulation. Before the Wild Rock, that's the, the only boot that comes in. 400, 400 grams, grams of premium lock insulation. Which is entire. Yeah. So it's a warm boot. It's a super, I've sat in the goose blind now when it was seven degrees for six hours, not moving, which typically your feet will get cold no matter what. Feet were great. Offer such a wide variety of boot that I guarantee you, if you go and try some of that out, you will find a boot that will fit your boot foot perfectly. But Scott's going to tell us about a new boot coming out this year. This boot's called the Brickstall. Um, it's new to this lineup. It's a little bit different. It's got a more of a mountaineering feel with uh, with the Western Hunter in mind. So it's got a uh, sock fit. This is a uh, similar to material, still waterproof, but similar to what you would find in a high performance soft shell jacket. So it really provides a super comfortable fit as you put it on. And the asymmetrical lacing system all the way down the tongue allows you to customize the lacing. When you're ascending up a you know, rockier terrain, you might want to might want to tighten down the toe box a little bit. It gives you a better toe purchase while you're climbing. And it's a little bit stiffer than our current boots. It's actually got the same flex rating as the Thor, which would be a four out of five on the flex scale. This is for the guy who's in nasty terrain. He's either, he's either going on a sheep hunt, he's going to Alaska, Montana, or just uh, you know, backcountry elk hunt. Um, this is going to be a really solid boot. We're super excited. It's going to come in a couple different colors. Black color is going to be super stiff, won't even be able to flex it. It's a true mountaineering flex on that boot. And then the brown one is going to be more versatile. Lots of different boots for lots of different types of hunting. That's the beautiful thing about the lineup. So if you are going to one of these trade shows coming up, whether that be the Western Hunting Expo, Sheep Show. So if you guys are at the Western Hunting Expo or Sheep Show in Reno, come by, touch them, feel them, try them on. Here we go, here we go. Dinner time, dinner time. Dinner time. Final night here in Indianapolis, and we have a dinner meeting with the Bro Outdoor Crew, correct? I believe, yeah, they're going to be there. They'll be there, and then the guys from Onyx are going to be there as well. Where do you stand, Casey? I stand in front of you right now. Do you know where you stand? I do. It was a good week, man. Super <laughs> fun. What, what are you Onyx to map. Where he doesn't know where you stand. Oh. I keep saying that to you, and you it's just don't get it. It's a long day, man. I'm just not picking up on what you're laying down, okay? I stand. I'll show you right now. Oh, you did on Onyx? Yeah, so I stand right here. Oh, look at that. It's all Didn't you send a pin drop? Look at that. Is that State public land? land? Hilarious. State land. This, we're on private right now. We are on private on the Marriott. Dude, that's state land. Is it Marriott that Marriott County. That's <laughs> BLM. Dude, we can hunt. We're Is good. That a deer? <laughs> that's crazy. We've been, it's been, uh, what a fun show though. We met a lot of cool people. That's been the best part, I think. Dinner. Dinner. At the G. You made it to the G. Guys, welcome to the Hush Channel where we have turned into a daily vlog. We don't we hunt. City life. City life. We don't hunt. Big time the city. Big time <laughs> welcome. There's this little sectioned off area. Just sit in your glass house. And just sit in your glass house. Hey, man. Good to see you. How are you doing? Good show. Yeah. How you doing? Good. How's it going? Good. This is fancy. All right, guys. That's pretty much everything that we shot from the ATA show over the last couple days. So I'm just going to wrap this video up real quick. I wanted to share something with you just because the vlog was a lot about product and new things. And I just got this package from Mountain Ops. Mountain Ops did not have a booth at ATA show this year. Jordan was out there just kind of hustling and networking, meeting, and doing a bunch of podcasts. But I wanted to show you this new product because I just got it in the mail. By the way, look at the new Mountain Ops shelf, guys. I'm totally stocked up for the current 90-day challenge that they're doing. This is a hot serving of the Ignite product. So if you read the supplement facts, it does have caffeine, L-arginine, nitric oxide, and everything like that. So. It comes in three flavors, Mountain Mocha, Apple Cider, and Charged Cocoa. I've only sampled the Apple Cider down at the office and I absolutely like it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of hot drinks. All these are built to be served in about 10 ounces of hot water. So like I said, I'm not a huge fan of hot drinks, but I actually did like the apple cider. I'm gonna try the charged cocoa right now with my breakfast. So again, this does have caffeine. It's really meant to replace your morning drink. It could replace coffee. 
It could just be your go-to drink sometime in the morning or during the day. I'm excited about this one just because it's something I can take in the morning with breakfast. Anyways, that's a wrap for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just kind of coming at you from the ATA show. Real quick on an update on what to expect here on the channel. We still have a lot of footage from the fall that we shot. Some of the other hunts that we haven't shared yet. The one that I'm most excited to cut and edit and share with you guys is my solo hunt from Idaho. But I think it's gonna be either three or four, possibly five days of video, I'm not sure. I shot it vlog style, so there's gonna be a video every single day I was out there. And we're starting to get our new Hoyt bows set up. And I know Brian went down to Wild Arrow and he got his set up, so we're gonna cut and edit upload that video for you guys as well. So there's still a lot to do. The Big Hunt Expo is coming up real quick. It's on February 8th in Salt Lake City. We do have a booth there right next to Mountain Ops. And we are doing a movie premiere. So good news for everyone here locally that wants to watch the movie up on the big screen and also you guys around the world on YouTube. We're gonna share our movie with you guys right here as well. So that will be February 7th. We'll make big announcement on when tickets are available and how to get set up to where you can come watch it in person. So make sure you follow us on other social platforms where we do keep things more up to date like Instagram, Facebook, and even Twitter. Check us out there and until next time guys, we'll see you on the next video. Mm -hmm.